Good evening. Good evening. Good Monday. Actually, this is the Monday after Absolution Fest. I'm still so fucking tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm still reeling. Reeling. So. We're obscure undead. P.S. I'm Super Mouse. low energy. I'm Azzy. And uh, we're going to talk to you about Absolution Fest today. Yeah, because we will not be uploading our usual content this week because we did not have time to prepare because we were preparing for Absolution Fest, which was a whirlwind. So let's get to it. For those that do not know, Absolution Fest was a two and a half day uh, festival extravaganza. I would venture to say three because we had enough shit spread out on Thursday and Sunday to make it into a full day. That's four days then. No. Oh, 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 so 2.5s? Yeah, 2.5s make, make it three. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So almost a three day, <laughs> kind of a three day fest. Uh, yeah. Took place in Tampa, Florida, which is where we live. And, and this was the first ever, 2019. Inaugural, uh, yes. Inaugural, uh, went down in the history books. So we wanted to tell you about it um, because a lot of people listening don't live here, they weren't able to make it and such and such. So it is a two day festival. Um, I hope we could put up the flyer um, because there was a fantastic two day lineup. Um, 13 bands um, that took place on Friday and Saturday. We had a pre-party on Thursday and we had a after party Saturday night, and then we had brunch on Sunday, and uh, had to say goodbye to all of our friends. That was the saddest part of the entire fest. Yeah, it did take us like half a day to say goodbye to everybody. And I still didn't get enough time to say goodbye. I still called, a, I still called a couple of people. I called uh, Michelle when she was at the airport. Really? Yeah, because I'm just like, I know that you have to fly, and I know that you're scared, and I want to talk to you. <laughs> I miss them already. I miss everyone already. I miss the people I see regularly already. <laughs> like me! Yeah, I didn't get to see the entire fest. It was just like traffic. I was running around like crazy. <clears throat> so, on Thursday. Thursday night. Uh, it started out with a pre-party at the Spookeasy. And you've probably seen us do some uh, one-off episodes at the Spookeasy. Mm -hmm. uh, like our Drab Majesty video. And we had one with Ian. Um, so that space is where we had... Oh, you're done? Done. You're done with it. You're like, yes. fuck it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that space, uh, we turned into a dark bar. Yeah, we call it dark bar. Dark bar. Or dark bore. Dork bore. Dork bore. <laughs> uh, and a big thank you to Evan Christopher, who helped set up everything, the lights. Oh, put up the, the lights. Like, that looks it, great. It was, it, was, it was just amazing. It has a real basement bar like vibe. Except it's it, up except in it's the air. Up. Yeah. yeah, and you can get Kava and Kratom and... Go downstairs and get food. Exactly. And um, um, so a bunch of people, especially the out-of-town people, came to just meet up there and check it out because it's a cool spooky. It's just really cool. There was Danny and Christina who came from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee. Mil Mil Milwaukee? Milwaukee. Yes. It's Algonquin for the good land. Algonquin. No, that's from Wayne's World. Oh. Ellis Cooper says that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and um, God, there were people from Chicago, and it was just a really neat vibe. Oh, let's see, um, like, I, I met people from Chicago, from Pittsburgh, from Milwaukee, from Texas. I actually can't remember where everybody came from, except for the Milwaukee, because I thought it was weird that everybody was from Wisconsin. Was it's like, only because the person going on? DJing at the after party, Jeff Black, was from Wisconsin. Is from Wisconsin. Also, I'm from Wisconsin. Also, Mark Paradise is from Wisconsin. Wow, everyone's from Wisconsin. That's why I was like, what's going on here? Why is everybody <laughs> taking over Tampa? Uh, yeah, so thank you, Jeff Black, for spinning. Um, and sorry to everyone who was way too hot in Florida because we are Satan's asshole. Yeah, but we also have the best air conditioning when it's on. Yeah, and that'll we'll talk about that <laughs> in a little bit. Sometimes we forget to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the after party was really great. Uh, I had to bail on it early, but um, Jeff Black played just really... He's played his special brand of spooky tunes, which is... It was perfectly obscura. It was old and new and just fresh and exciting. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about Dark Bar is that it's such a casual setup up there, despite having a dance floor that you can play more of these, like, let's just sit and enjoy and listen to music yes. tracks. and I'm excited for us to spin there again. Yes. If for us to spin, 
because that will be fun because I need to play some Ethereal Wave. Yeah, just something to relax to because we need goth lounges, honestly. We need more goth lounges. Let's make some. Well, that's Dark Bar. Uh, uh, we can make more. Oh, let's make more. Let's make one in Orlando. You know what we should do? We should just get like a mini speaker and set up anywhere and make a goth lounge and just take Which over. is what I wanted. I wanted a DJ truck. Like a food truck, but you open it up and we just start spinning. I know. I know. You're welcome. I know this. Put we, a pin in that. We could go to like a mall and just be like, hey, everybody show up at the stupid mall. Take over in the like, parking lot. Take over the back of the parking lot and just play like all the spooky jams. Yeah. Put a pin in that. We just need a goth break dancer to come with us. Don't ever put those words together again. We can, I want to make Don't one. ever put those words together again. He would be much again. cooler than like, like, like b-boy break dancers. Okay, uh. I'll, I'll get back to that. Mm. So, uh, after the, <laughs> the day after. The day after, which is the day one of the fest. The day one of the fest was Friday night and um, that took place at Crowbar. Mm -hmm. um, I had to jet off right after work to make it like through traffic. Six bands is a lot. So, um, big shout out to Tom DeGeorge, um, Dave and Christian, um, who all work at, oh, and Mike, who all work at Crowbar um, for putting up with hundreds of goths um, busting through the door. Oh God, yeah, we crammed out. <laughs> um, the bands were uh, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills kicked off the night and um, Phil is always great. Phil is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Phil. Um, then Panic Priest. If you have not heard Panic Priest, you absolutely need to go look him up right now. Just stop what you're doing, stop this, and go look at Bandcamp and listen to his stuff. Um, That's Panic John? Jack. Jack, oh, I'm sorry. Jack Armando, he's from Chicago, and he's on I didn't get a chance Negative to Gain, I do believe. Oh, he's he, amazing, and his hair is amazing. His hair is amazing. No, he is definitely on Negative Gain. Okay, okay, yes, he's on Negative Gain. He is a one-man powerhouse, mm -hmm. and he does, uh, Amazing guitar. I felt so bad for him because he wanted the spotlight turned off, but that wasn't a spotlight. Yes, it was his projector. I know. I know. So he has his projector with his logo in the back, and and then there's he was there's just pictures. tall enough. It, it was the strip just went right over his eyes. I thought it was on purpose because it looked so cool. It looked so cool, but he, then he called for the spotlight to get turned down, and I was like, oh, they can't actually turn that off. That's your backing <laughs> visuals. I, I, I hope we get a picture of that and like uh, post that up there because that was the, it was the coolest look. Oh, at we'll least. try to find something for our because later for the rest of the week instead of our regular content, we're just going to splice together a bunch of videos and uh, photos that our friends took and sent to us um, because Mouse and I were too busy running around or drinking or doing socializing socializing to actually remember to take footage because. We prefer to enjoy an event instead of try to document it. I was thinking that the whole time. I was like, should I just stand here and hold up my phone? No! I, I don't like doing that personally. I hate that. I wonder what bands think of it. I don't because know. they always they always enjoy seeing the video afterwards right. that has been posted because they wanted like some feedback of what they look like. Mm -hmm. But it's almost rude to be holding up a phone. Well, didn't Boot Black say that? Like, there are two more songs, like, feel free to dance or something like that. And I was just thinking, you know what? That is a good call out. <laughs> like, way to call people out. And people did dance after that. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so after that was Push Button Press. Oh my God, they've been working so hard. They are local to Tampa. You've seen Jet on so our proud, show. So proud of them. Yeah. Um, Jet and um, Jim, didn't we? Uh, we haven't had Jim on. We did, however, didn't have we like him. Photoshop him in the he picture. He was photoshopped or into one of our <laughs> into one of our photos. Yeah, in one of our thumbnails. Yeah, and I think we have an interview um, on. Our yes, website. we have an interview up on our website. Oh, plus, um, oh, I, no, I, I shouldn't say because that's not that's. There are more interviews with them coming up, but that's not the point. Oh, um, now for now with us though, and I won't say who. Okay, but. Uh, what was different between their live show versus their um, album is they got a bassist and a drummer and they've been practicing for every weekend for hours like Saturday and Sunday yeah. for months to prepare and their it was sound perfect. it was perfect their it, sound it sounds does not like, compare it, it I to, think like 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 their live show just blew it out of the water it was amazing it really did and um, Big thank you to Jim for putting so much effort into the show. Like, it really paid off. And thank you, Jim, for singing that line to me. That was great. 
And we got to meet Jim's daughter. Yes! She's adorable. She was covered in spooky stuff. And I gave her a slime, which she loves. Oh, I gave her a hug and she sort of went like... <laughs> but hi! I like, hear you watch every episode. We are so sorry we cuss. I... Oops. I do cuss a lot. I'm so sorry. You were super cute and I'm bad at conversation and I don't know how to talk to kids, but... It shouldn't be that big of a deal, and I wanted to. Say I hi. wanted to give her more toys. I just opened up my purse, and I was like, "Where's all my cool all stuff?" All of the toys in my purse were things you don't give to children. Oh yeah, I had a lot of that as well. Yeah. But like, look at all these toys here. We've got like so much stuff. Yeah, she could have gotten a little Frieza. She can come over here and play. Hey, oh no, wait, that's right. Frieza is just missing part of his tail. Yes. Yeah, it's it's canon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I can hear your stomach. <laughs> Yo, really? Yes. Holy shit, that's so loud. I didn't hear it. Oh, just wait, it'll do it again. It's been doing it for like minutes now. Could it be that loud? Do you want some nuts? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, I'm Eat the nuts. Eat the nuts. Ritual howls. Ritual Howls. Ritual Howls is amazing. I actually had to actually, go- everything was amazing. Okay, so Ritual Howls, they played so much off of Rendered Armor and I was so fucking happy mm -hmm. about that. They started off with Alone Together and that is my favorite song by them. And they played Love Cuts. Oh, yes. Which I love. So, I, I actually watched them from outside because everybody started like cramming their asses in the DJ booth and I was just like, I'm not going to be trapped between my computer and like a four, five, seven, eight deep wall of people that's behind what the, me. That's what the- Barricade thing. No, was everybody for. moves that fucking barricade. I was yeah, but you DJs stand there. You booth. stand there and you guard your barricade. Your DJ booth is your space. Don't that you is your equipment. The, don't you remember the last time I did that? When I told this woman to like stop trying to get in the DJ booth, mm -hmm. and then I turned around, she just kept doing it, and you had to like put yourself in front of her to stop her from getting in the DJ booth. Yeah, no, you need to be aggressive. That is your space, <gasps> and they're not allowed near your stuff. And my stuff was down there too. You know that that's why you need to watch Hotel Transylvania three because he says the DJ booth is a sacred space. <laughs> Really? Wow. Wow, nice. Okay. Anyway. So Ritual House had um, <laughs> these amazing visuals that totally fit their sound. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that twangy country goth kind of. I'm actually a little upset I didn't pick up their lyric book because I meant to, and then I never got back over to the merch table because I was too busy social. I didn't even realize that lyric book was there, and I didn't. Well, I went up at the beginning of the night to go buy it when no one was, like, around, and I could still get across the venue, and I said, how much is it? And the lady said, I don't know. It's always and $15. Then I, no, it was like 30 And then I said... Just be like, I'm going to give you $15 because that's how much books cost. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much... <laughs> when was the last time we bought a fucking book? Trevin? <laughs> okay, moving on. Ritual House is really great. They were, they were a lot of fun to watch and a lot of fun to listen to. Not all books. I just meant like, you know, like band books and tour books and stuff. They cost $15. And then after Ritual House, <laughs> okay, yeah, it was Boot Blacks. Boot Blacks. Um, I was very tired by this point, but same. But I was back in the DJ booth on Boot, Boot Blacks. Boot Blacks is very energetic, um, like a five-piece band. The dude is adult Draco Malfoy. Yeah, someone like, leaned in and whispered to me, "That's Draco Malfoy." <laughs> and I just looked at them, and then I looked at the stage, and I was like, "Holy!" Shit. It's Draco Malfoy's band, and they're just amazing. They're beautiful. Uh, you know, we love Boot Blacks. We love their songs. Mm -hmm. um, and then last. And then the headliner was actors, actors. and we love actors because, oh my God, like I, what's his name? Lead singer? I don't know. I already forgot. Um, I'm he sure has I know. such a stage presence mm -hmm. that it is unbelievable. Um, He's a great singer, mm -hmm. and he really gets the audience um, engaged and riled up. Yes. Well, one thing that I thought was really amazing is I was watching the bands, and I could see other bands coming to watch them, coming to watch them, and like singing along with them and interacting. All the other bands got on the sides and were like cheering on and actors. They everybody stopped <sighs> what they were doing to go watch the band. See, I fucking love that so much. Like that's amazing. Oh, and then I don't know who this was, but there was a little girl. Oh, younger the, than the, Jim's the, daughter. The, 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 uh, that was the bassist's, bassist's daughter. daughter. Okay, so she was there and they brought her up on stage and she was bouncing around. She seemed a little nervous at first, but then they like went into their breakdown and she was like jumping around with the band and it was so sweet. I would have been nervous. You would have been nervous if you were pulled on stage like that. Yeah, definitely. Jason and Shannon. 
Shannon's lady in the band, um, and then Jason and two other guys. But um, God, he is so outgoing. He's so polite. He's just fun. Um, he does everything himself. Um, and it was just really, really cool to see them finally. Yes, it really was. They were. Everyone has. Everyone was so fun to watch. Like, can I just mention that Twin Tribe showed up? So did Corrine. Oh no, I should have brought my song. So did Crew Lies. So all the bands from the second night showed up on the first night to see the bands, and then Joel had his actor's vinyl, and he's holding it like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's my actor's vinyl. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's and adorable. And we got, we got to meet Joel and Luis we of did. Twin Tribes, and I was calling him Joel for the longest time, and then you told someone his name, and I was just like, you dick. How did you ever correct it me? It is have Joel. It camera like so many times. Joel. And now we know. It was Joel, and now we know. And that was so exciting getting to meet them. The first thing we did was we went and we said hi, and then we hugged and screamed and ran away. I'm pretty sure I screamed right in Luis's ear. <laughs> like right in his ear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then um, I got to talk to them again later in the night, specifically because our friend Malik uh, was very loud and Made sure Louder than we, me? Yes, and made sure that we all got pictures together. And then Joel came up and just gave me this huge hug. He was like, I love it, I'm scared I'm dead. And I'm just like, no! <laughs> so anyway, that was day one. It was so much fun. Uh, we all went to the castle after that. I can't remember. It was a whirlwind. I did not. <laughs> I went to IHOP. My feet couldn't move. I was messaging everybody, where are the waffles? Nobody messaged us back. Next thing you know, it was like 5, 6 in the morning. Yes, by the time I got home, it was like five or six. Saturday. Um, oh my God. So, you know, lunch dates with friends. We had Skull Girdle and um, Libby and Ian. We all went out for crepes. Oh, I did not. I think, think you were I still was sleeping? sleeping. No, I wasn't sleeping. You I was just at home being dead, miserable. Being dead. Um, we went out to. Where the heck did we go? Oh, Dysfunctional Grace. We went shopping in Tampa because Ebor is amazing. There's lots of cool things to do. Um, there was a Saturday. How the fuck did I spend my day? We had Saturday morning market um, at the Spooky Z again, and then um, the show started. I remember how I spent my day teasing Malik's hair <laughs> the whole day. No, it only took about an day. hour. The whole day. It was so flock of seagull. It was not. It was better. It was definitely. It was fear called. Anyway, uh, so, we all rolled up to the Orpheum and it was wonderfully air conditioning because we're sorry, like all the bands who aren't used to Florida weather who had to be in Florida and were just sweating their asses off. During during Panic Priest, Mouse like runs up to the stage with a cup of water and puts it down on the stage and then runs away. I actually, it was. It was vodka soda. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, he, it looked like cause, water. Because Jack got on the microphone and was like, you know it would be cool if like a vodka soda magically appeared in my hands right now. <laughs> so like three of us ran to the bar to order it. <laughs> and then I came back and I was like, I got it, I got it. And then I realized there was no way to put it in his hands because he's a one man guitarist. <laughs> so he just put it down on the stage and he was just like, he drank like most of that thing in like I, one fucking I was like, gulp. please don't knock it over. Please don't knock it over. I hope he saw me. And uh, anyway, day two. Day two. <laughs> the Orpheum, Orpheum was, was so cold. Mm, it was so cold. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's that's the way our weather is. It's like, or even like indoors, it's too hot in one place and it's too cold in another mm -hmm. place. But Orpheum had this VIP balcony that uh, we went and hung up on, hung out up on, hung out upon. Yes. But anyway, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I was down below you guys. Yes. So because mouse, I was spinning. Mouse spun on the second night. I was spinning with DJ Winters uh, from Communion After Dark-ish on the and first Weekly night. Winters on the first night. Yeah. Uh, and the first band was Fishwife. Fishwife. So thank you, Kate Swan, for being part of our festival this year. You are amazing. She is also a one-man project. Yeah, I um one-woman project. I've heard other like like her material and I was just like, yeah, right, this is good. But then like putting her on the stage in the Orpheum, that sounded so fantastic. She is, she that is was like, amazing. Crazy, amazing, experimental, dark, 
music. Yeah. And she has all these like synthesizers and mixers and knobby things and keys and, and stuff. Things. And they all like glow and it's just amazing and she knows what everything does and I'm mm -hmm. just I, I'm super impressed with her. Yeah, and that was that was fun. And then uh, after that was wingtips. So wingtips set the stage for everything. That was such a good show. I was very happy. I am so impressed with how far Wingtips has come, even though they have like one official album. I'm impressed with Hannah running around doing everything. So both wow. Hannah and Vincent look amazing in a wash of fog mm -hmm. and bright lights. So they're mostly about like silhouettes and they're just so good at their instruments. Oh my God. So Hannah does synths, guitar, and electronic drums. And she just goes back and forth, even yeah. the same song. Yeah. She'll be beating the drums. Then she'll turn the drums. around and play synths. Yeah, I know. It was amazing. It was so like, nuts. It kind of reminded me of like the way Tori Amos would have like one instrument here and then one instrument there and like stand on the sides and do both. And Hannah can do that. Wow. And after that was, um, I don't know how to say their name. Corinne. It's Corinne? Corinne, yeah. It's because not Corinne, it's Corinne? I think it's Corinne because, um, mm, no, I'm thinking of our meme that we made. This is chlorine. <clears throat> okay, so we have a friend who has a button press and he showed up with puns on all of the band's names um, on his vest. <laughs> so we had crew fries. Instead of wing tips, it was just the tip. It was just the tip. Was it crew fries? I thought it was um, crow pies. It might have been crow pies. It was crow pies. By the end of the fest though, it ended up being crew thighs. Because Ian. Because of Ian's shorts. Ian's thighs are amazing. Or there were calves. There were more more calves, but you know the pun. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the other ones. I don't remember the other ones either. Twin Tribes is perfect. Do not make a meme out of them. <laughs> we will fight you, Keaton. <laughs> so uh, so after Wingtips was Corrine, and Corrine is like a retro wave synth pop type band uh, with two members. Really fun. Really bright. I guess he had like some really cool lighting going on and. Um, Morgie from Corrine has amazingly long, lush, beautiful hair, like a Barbie doll, mm -hmm. and he waves it around all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so that's half the entertainment right there. Uh, after that, you had um, Twin Tribes. I was so fucking mad. I had to bail you after all of them. Two and a half songs. Oh, well you got to see the beginning of it. Yes. I'm so sorry. And I... It was it was beautiful. Joel so. says he wants to come back to Tampa. I believe him. Come you back could, to Tampa. You can come even without a show. Just yeah. come and hang out with us. <laughs> <laughs> come hang out with us and we will find something. So I... Um, I was close enough to you know, sing the lyrics and just watch everything and again it, with the um, you know the teal and the pink lights mm -hmm. just making everything work the fog and the haze was was like just right and um, everything sounded so great too <laughs> Luis's vocals like he's he's oh god you know just the way that post-punk vocals should be mm -hmm. um, but then um, Joel the way he plays his instruments as well was just it was adorable it was like, you can tell when people love their music. Mm -hmm. And um, then they played Fantasmas for me, which I love. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite. The newest song mm -hmm. is, the, is my favorite so far. So I have high hopes for the new album. 2020? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope so, yeah. And then a tour, a Fantasmas tour. And then at that point, I was gone. Yep, our feet were done. Well, no, I mean, like, I was gone, gone. I had to... Oh, you left to go do the after party. Mm -hmm. I left with um, our friend Malik because we were setting up the after party in the castle dungeon. And uh, we had to be there before the fest ended to get, make sure that everything was good to go. Ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, like, ran and scrambled. And thank you to all of our friends who donated, or rather traded fives and tens for the tour. <laughs> And thank you, Jason, for making sure we had that square reader. That was so super helpful. And thank you, Courtney and Beth, for manning the door. Mm -hmm. um, again, thank again. you. Yeah, yeah. And thank you, Marty. Oh, yeah, Marty. For 
for coming through with us with all of the equipment that we needed for our special guest DJ at the after party, which was Vincent yeah. from Wingtips. So Vincent from Wingtips ran from the show at the Orpheum to the after party. So we know that was a long day for him, but yeah. he pulled it off anyway. Yeah. Um, but anyway, back at the Orpheum. Back at the Orpheum. Because I was still at the Orpheum. Yes. Crow pies. I mean, crew lies. Uh, they were, of course, amazing. And as usual, Ian comes out in his glittery and shorts. His gold shorts. And you know, you're listening I to saw them, the and they sound yeah, they 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 sound like a perfect, beautiful, almost like um, disintegration album. Yeah, I, um, I got to see them at uh, Treffen, and I saw Ian at the after party, and he introduced himself, and I was just like, I met you in Germany, and he's just like, oh yeah! Yeah, I saw him at Treffen too, and Treffen, it was just amazing, because he was in, we were in a, like a, a church or a that temple of some sort. building thing. That was, yeah. I mean, like, it just looked epic, but the sound was better at the Orpheum. You know, it's, you didn't have all that the echoey stuff going on. The sound was better at the Orpheum, yes. So, um, I'm just saying in general, I don't know if it was specific for them, but I can imagine because the sound of the Orpheum, I, that was the first time I've ever been there. The sound mm-hmm. of her's great. It depends on where you stand. Oh, okay. Because if you're far in the back, it, it doesn't sound as good. Oh, it sounded good up on the balcony. Good. Okay. That's why it's VIP. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. Next is A Starry Night, and they are also local to Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, Michael's just um, an amazing presence, and he had his flowery shirt. Oh, I saw him so in the crowd cool. briefly before I had to leave. Uh, yeah. And his hair looked great, and his shirt was cute. Yes, his hair is always amazing. Mm-hmm. And um, shout out to Howard and Ilya, who are also part of A Starry Night, and they make it what it is. Um, Ilya looked amazing up on like a raised drumming platform and um, I think they there's always like Christmas lights on the always, drum set. Always, always Christmas always, lights. Always, always Christmas lights. Do they still lights. have the Jack Skellington lights? I can't I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, they had a, um, a big like blow up um, it was like a tree, like a Halloween tree. They would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was like, like you can never tell if it's a Christmas theme or a Halloween theme. I don't think it matters. They like both. Mm-hmm. Well, Michael does. Michael does. I just Christmas. realized I forgot to bring them candy apples. I was so busy preparing for the fest that I forgot to make them candy apples. How do you bring candy apples to someone? In a container. I want a candy apple. Well, maybe. Doesn't we... that just get all over your nose? Yeah, so it's probably best that I didn't give them candy yeah. apples at the Orpheum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Aw. <laughs> all right, and then. Um, and at this point, uh, we were over at me and Malik were at the after party, and he was spinning all kinds of good death rock mm-hmm. and goth. And and then the uh, the second mm-hmm. headliner for Saturday night was Assembly Twenty Three, just for those folks who are used to um, the band as part of the uh, the dark electro synth pop scene. So it was the point was to bring everything together so that you had fans of new music and fans of new scene all together in one place. And um, that show went on until past one in the morning. Yeah, I know. You messaged me at like quarter after one to say, they just finished. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, good. No one's going to come to the after oh party. My God. Because yeah. they're all going to be so beat. And my they're just going to go home and sleep. could not handle it. I so, would have loved to have gone home and slept at that point, too. Maybe, I don't know how. We'll figure it out next time. But that was a long day. That was a very long day. No, next time we need to just start like giving everybody caffeine at the end of the night. Caffeine pills. We sell them. So caffeine. Is that pills. selling drugs? I mean, pills. Caffeine pills are a drug. I think it's only illegal if you sell speed. I think if you go to like the truck stop and pick up like a bunch of notos or what something. If, what if we had a break in the between like like two thirds way through? And then you told everybody at the Spookeasy that they can get a deal on coffee shots. It is right next door to the Spookeasy. Yeah, and then everybody could take a break, go get a coffee shot, chat for a little bit, and go back to the Orpheum. So anyway. instead of like a 20 minute intermission, have like a 40 minute intermission. Yeah. I don't know. Fans would appreciate that too. Yeah. Probably. Or even like a one hour intermission. But um, the other thing we need is food trucks. Oh my god! I'm going to make food sure. Trucks so bad. Everyone was so fucking hungry at the end of the night. Hangry. Like, we were upset, hungry. Hangry. Like, and by the time we ended up driving back to my house, we were just like, everyone's going to go get waffles at Waffle House. Oh my god, house. Libby! And and we're just like, we don't like Waffle House. Libby and house. Acid Bitter trying to go get food at Boneyard, and they had just stopped selling food. Oh, that is so <laughs> sad. 
Okay, so we sorry, just, acid bitter. So food trucks, food trucks. Let's All right, do it. put that in the suggestion box for for communion after dark and Indoxa. Done. <laughs> Next year, food trucks. Anyway, it was a grand old time. I know we talked your ear off about it, oh, it but was so much we're fun. still trying to decompress and compose our thoughts and, and our up. pictures and our videos. Mm -hmm. um, Sandy Holmes from Elemental Eyes Photography took a ton of photos and video. We may not have that yet, but we have enough from everybody else. Um, Libby's phone is amazing. Dia Siculus's phone is amazing. So we have like tons of really great mm -hmm. photos. Agatha and Alcove is going to be giving us some footage too. Oh yes, we have YouTubers that all got together and um, are going to have some coverage on their yeah. own channels. So you're going to be seeing Absolution Fest stuff pop up soon from Skullgirdle, uh, Agatha and Alcove, and Cadaver Kelly. Yes, so go check out our friends' pages. Mm -hmm. Our YouTubes. YouTubes. Is it still called a page if it's YouTube? Check out their no, channels. 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 That's, yeah, that's the word. We should know this. Um, and then on Sunday. Sun we, Sunday we brunched. Sunday was brunch. Brunch took forever. Brunch took forever because they didn't have a table and eventually I just walked up to the front and I was just like, look, we've been waiting 75 minutes. Just, I see open tables. Just, just separate us. We don't care. We just want food. It was goth brunch. It was goth brunch. Mm -hmm. good, it was pretty good cool. Goth jams. I got a, um, a Bloody Mary. And uh, it, came it came with, with a, a rosary. rosary. <laughs> that was so cool. I'm sorry it tasted like dirt. It did taste like dirt. That was probably the beet juice. I got, oh god, I can't remember what dish I got, but it came on black rice. Oh, that was the um, same dish I got. <laughs> what was it called? I don't know. I have a picture of the menu if it matters. No. It doesn't matter. No. All right. But that was fun getting to say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. Even if it was sad. And then there was a big group photo that we took, but I wasn't in it, so. <laughs> you are too in it. Keaton had to Photoshop me in. You are too And I'm it. all like sideways like this. I'm like, hi. <laughs> you look so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. Because we, uh, we have a, we have a, he, so, okay. So in this photo, which we should probably throw up, um, we have a friend from Orlando whose name is also Mouse, coincidentally, and who likes all the same music as Mouse and... Is the same age as me. Is the same spelled age. The same way. Spelled the same way and also had an event called the same thing, independent of you, before you guys Impossible. ever knew each other. Impossible. So you're basically the same person. Yeah, just he's the inverse of me. Yeah, anyway. And so Keaton photoshopped um, a picture of Mouse behind... The Orlando other mouse. mouse, yeah. Yeah. No, it's funny because we have basically our male counterpart DJ pair in Orlando. So you got Azzy and Mouse in Tampa, and you got <laughs> Mouse and Malik in Orlando. That is true. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, but Malik is actually officially part of Obscure and Dead. He is Obscure and Dead Orlando. Awesome. We should try to recruit Mouse, but I don't think he would be into it. I think he would. Okay, good. You make that your mission. Oh my god, Mouse Orlando, Obscure and Dead. Yeah, just have- we have, we need Obscure and Dead Orlando. Like, this is a thing. We need that. We need it. We need it. We need Obscure and Dead in every single city. We need to thank our patrons. We do. So, thank you, Skullgirdle. I can't wait to see what you come up with from the fest. Thank you, Acid Bitter. Thank you, Cadaver Kelly. Again, can't wait to see what you come up with from the fest. <laughs> thank you, Dave Azoa, sir. Thank you, Dia Siculus. Thank you, Beth Rizov. Thank you, Junkyard Bat. Thank you, Libby. Thank you, Max Shrek. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Demetria. Thank you, Uncle Fester. Thank you, David. Thank you, Ian. Can we see what you come up with, Agatha in an alcove? Oh, yes, that's anyway. right. Ian is Agatha in an alcove. Thank you, Mason Shriver. Thank you, Generic Jackal. And thank you, Sabaris. You guys, really, I, I was so glad to meet most of you. And uh, just keep being awesome. Like, I love the conversations that we have behind the scenes with all of them. Mm-hmm. I love it when people come up and they're just like, hi, I know you from your channel, or hi, I know you because we talk online, and I'm just like, awesome, I'm terrible at conversation, but let us stare awkwardly at each other and enjoy each other's company. Oh my god. Or buy, or like, let me buy myself five more like, like whiskey sours and I'll be happy oh and I'll be able to actually socialize. I'm terrible at socializing. That's not true, you jump from person to person and I stand with a single person for like 20 minutes. I don't jump anywhere. I mean, I, I wander around trying to escape. Yeah, but you and then, can't. But people talk to me, so I'm not. You're 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 like the face. People think you're a lot friendlier than I am. I don't think I am. Am I? Mm -hmm. You're more approachable. I just look bitchy all the time. <laughs> I'm, gonna work, I'm gonna work on my bitch face. Just work on your assy face. It goes like this. And then when someone tries to hand you like their mix CD, 
<laughs> just stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad that actually happened once. I can't be real. No, really? some, someone went to go hand us their, 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 their mix CD and I just went and stared them dead in the eye and stopped smiling. Oh, that's right. I remember this. Oops. It's because I was just like, okay, serious business. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna look serious. I took the mix CD. Yeah, you did. We enjoyed it. It was good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Not naming any names, but it was good. It was a really fun weekend though. And um, for Absolution Fest 2020, we hope to see even more people there. And it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be as amazing as Sisters of Mercy in Mexico City. It's going to be better than this year, because how can this fest get anything but better? Hey. It can't. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to grow. Like, it was amazing this year. It's going to be even more amazing next year. Yeah, it's going to be more festy. So Festive. Just whatever. <laughs> so Words. we'll see you guys, I guess, um, later this week. Check out all the concert footage. Go love on these bands, and maybe we'll see you in 2020. Bye. Bye.